the 29th of August, 2025 inch, less than 24 hours, three major geological events rocked the American West. Early in the morning, a magnitude 5.9 earthquake shook the area around Mount Street Helens, sparking panic and a rapid analysis of potential volcanic activity. In Yellowstone National Park, more than 1,000 magnitude 3.7 earthquakes were recorded, spreading in a swarm pattern beneath the surface of the supervolcano's caldera. A few hours later, a giant, previously dormant geyser suddenly erupted, spewing hot water more than 200 feet into the air, roaring like a high-pressure steam explosion. Three significant events occurred in one day at two of the world's most closely watched volcanic hotspots. Was this just a geological coincidence, or a signal from something deeper within the Earth? The western United States has highly active tectonic and volcanic systems, from the San Andreas Fault to the Yellowstone Caldera. Mount Street Helens is one of the most active volcanoes in the world. While Mount Street, Helens is widely known for its catastrophic eruption in 1980. Yellowstone is a dormant supervolcano that stores tremendous energy underground. But today, both seem to have awakened together. Seismographs across the country recorded tremor after tremor from tectonic shifts, hot fluid movements and hydrothermal eruptions. The day began with a significant shock. At 7.15 a.m. local time, seismic monitoring systems recorded a 5.9 magnitude earthquake shaking the area around Mount Street. Helens, Washington. The tremor was felt tens of kilometers away and sparked immediate concerns about a potential new eruption. According to USGS Cascades Volcano Observatory data, the earthquake's epicenter was located about 7 km beneath the volcano's active magmatic system. Experts say this earthquake pattern is not just typical tectonic activity, but rather characterized by the upward movement of magma or hot fluids. This is the most significant signal from Street Helens since 2008, said a USGS volcanologist. There's pressure building down there. While experts were still analyzing the massive earthquake at Street Helens, more than 1,000 earthquakes measuring up to magnitude 3.7 were recorded in Yellowstone National Park, distributed in a swarm pattern, a type of seismic activity that often indicates the migration of hot fluids or increased underground pressure. This swarm was concentrated around the Norris Geyser Basin, an area known for the highest hydrothermal activity in the park. Tremors came and went throughout the day, raising concerns about the instability of Yellowstone's geothermal system. Volcanologists monitoring the area noted a significant increase in fumarole temperatures and sulfur dioxide, so two gas output, around the Norris Geyser Basin. This surge in gas emissions is a classic indicator that subsurface pressure and temperature are increasing, allowing hot fluids and steam to move more aggressively. A few hours after the earthquake swarm, an even more dramatic event occurred. A giant geyser that had been dormant suddenly erupted, spewing hot water and steam more than 200 feet into the air, accompanied by a rumbling sound like a high-pressure explosion. This eruption occurred without warning in the upper geyser basin, surprising visitors and scientists alike. Experts call this a spontaneous hydrothermal explosion, which is often triggered by a surge in the pressure of superheated steam beneath the surface. 
This phenomenon was more than just a spectacular spectacle. The giant geyser eruption demonstrated how dynamic and volatile Yellowstone's hydrothermal system is. When underground steam pressure reaches a critical point, the trapped steam and hot water suddenly erupt to the surface with tremendous force. The geyser eruption caused a shower of hot water and a torrent of small rocks that spread over a wide radius, forcing national park officials to close the surrounding area and several hiking trails. Scientists now suspect this geyser explosion was closely related to the earthquake swarm several hours earlier. These small tremors are thought to increase steam pressure and the movement of hot water beneath the surface, creating ideal conditions for hydrothermal eruptions. It's like a natural domino sequence, says Dr. Clark. Small earthquakes trigger the movement of hot fluids, which then leads to an explosive release of energy at the surface. From the massive earthquake at Street, Helens, to the earthquake swarm at Yellowstone, to the eruption of a giant geyser, all these events paint a vivid picture of the powerful dynamics occurring beneath the Earth's surface. These three major events signal that subterranean pressure is building momentum. While there is no immediate threat of a major eruption, this sequence of events is a stark reminder that our planet is alive and dynamic.